he died. Let me warn you. And my language is sometimes very harsh because that's the only language some people can understand. Don't come with this nonsense because it is not only pathetic nonsense, it is absolutely sinful to say that Allah, when I uzu billah min hadha, Allah calls someone else to take the appearance of Nabi Isa alayhi salam. And that innocent man, innocent because he never claimed to be the Messiah, he was crucified. Peace of Christ to all of you and uh, happy Easter and uh, let us stop the nonsense of the Mohammedan and as you notice that the smart one of them he noticed that there is something stupid in the Quran <clears throat> and he claimed that this stupid thing in the Quran is not the Quran being stupid it's the Muslim being stupid so he's saying to them I'm going to be harsh with you because you are stupid stop your nonsense So a Muslim sheikh is saying to all the Muslims, none of you have sense. He is saying you are a bunch of idiots, stupid, ignorant. You cannot even understand your book. And then you ask yourself, this sheikh who is speaking about what makes sense and what does not make sense. So it doesn't make sense that Suleiman he saw an ant in the valley of the ant and the ant she told her friends, hide otherwise Suleiman will crush you. Mr. Sense. So Mr. Sense himself, he closed his eyes when he want about things does not make sense. But he, you know, he have an open eyes when he want. Does it make sense that Solomon, he died standing for a year and nobody noticed because he was holding a stick? Mr. Sense? I guess you have a sense of a humor, my friend. Stop your sense. Nonsense. And I have to be harsh with you because this is the only language actually Muslims, they understand. If you are soft and kind, they think you are weak. Many people who do not know the nature of Islam, they think, you know, you see those Christians, you know, you know, give me a hug, you know, like, wave your hand to Jesus. They don't know they are doing, you know, they try to give you, a, a, you know, like a different uh, a face of a Christianity, which does not even exist. Like not even one place in the Bible, it's, you see Jesus going around giving hugs. Or you will see a Muslim now, they are trying to copy those false Christians who go on the street and say, I'm a Muslim, give me a hug. So he can hug women. So there is, in both sides, there is people who do things have no sense and doesn't make sense. But this is a Muslim, he is trying to have sense in the religion of nonsense. So now this guy, he say, well, you know what? No, the Messiah was crucified and Allah take him up to heaven. Why? I mean, what the purpose is still? Why Allah do not take Muhammad? So now you come back to your sense and you agreed that the Christians are right. Jesus was crucified. So 1400 years of nonsense, thousands of books of nonsense and now after 1400 years you find that this is doesn't make sense that Allah he replaced someone look like Jesus he make him look like Jesus clone Jesus and they clone they they they, they crucified the one the clone as long you are a person who speak about nonsense does it make sense that the angel Jibreel, he cloned the boyfriend of Muhammad, Dahil Kalbi? Does that make sense? 
I mean, Jibreel, he can come like in the look of a man, but he chose to come in the look of a man or a young man. He is the most handsome boy youth in the tribe of Quraysh. So now we have two Dahya Kalbi in town. <laughs> Muhammad want to explain why he is staying with Dahya Kalbi so late at night. Obviously, there's something fishy between them. Ibn Abbas, he came, he found him in certain position. The prophet, he said to him, you, you saw who was there? Ibn Abbas, he was a kid. He said, yeah. He said, you saw who? He said, I saw Dahya Kalbi. He said, oh, okay, you know what? This is Jibreel. It makes sense that Shaitan, he cloned Solomon and he took his ring. I mean, everybody can clone everybody in Islam. Shaitan, even Shaitan, he can be God, according to the Muhammadan. He can come to you as you. He can come to your wife having your body, your voice, and your eyes, and your flesh. And then the shaitan, after he cloned Solomon, he went to the wives of Solomon, and he started doing boom, boom to them nonstop. And then after a year, more than a year, he is boom, boom, the wives of Solomon. The wives reported What's, he, what's going on to the elders of the kingdom. They told them, Suleiman, our husband, he don't, he is not so good in bed. This guy never stopped. The elder, they got suspicious. And this is how they discovered that this is cannot be Solomon. And this guy is talking about what makes sense and what does not make sense. So Allah, he allowed shaitan to F the wives of Solomon for more than a year and Allah did not send anybody to warn them. They notice it only in the bedroom. Look like Shaitan when he became Solomon, he was praying to Allah five times a day. He was fasting Ramadan. Because they did not notice that this is not him except in sex. This is the only thing. So when a Muhammadan speak about what does make sense and what does not, we laugh at you. I'm going to open my Skype and I have a challenge for the Muhammadan today. As you see, we are celebrating the living Messiah. You Muslim every year, you celebrate the dead Muhammad. And you can tell there's a huge difference between the dead and the living one. Who is a Muhammad and would like to join us? And tell us why you are following a dead man his name is Muhammad and why you are not following the Messiah and why your book is so funny and your shakes are very confused if you remember two days ago we have a Muslim he called me and he said the Quran is so clear he do not know the hadith and the second we ask him to read a verse oh the Quran is uh, have a uh, uh, ambigu ambiguous uh, I think he said pink one pink one not ambiguous ambiguous pink one verses so the guidance of Allah it turned to be a book of confusion the Bible says that God is not the author of confusion so your God can't be God. This is the devil. The one who confused people is the God of this world, which means the devil. And I never saw a Muhammad, and he is not a confused man.
If you are a Muhammadan, you like to join us for free. And today, actually, we will take calls from Christians, but not right now. In the beginning, we will give the Muslims chance, the Muhammadan, uh, to join us if they care. And then if there are no Muslim calling, we will take calls from Christians because today is Easter, so we will let them have their chance to say something. Do we have any Muhammadan here? He would like to join us and tell us why Sheikh Omran, he is saying that it's sinful to believe that Allah, he cloned someone look like Isa. He explained. He said, are you telling me that Allah, he put in the cross an innocent person who he did not claim even to be Christ? Any Muhammadan? Who is a proud Muhammadan following the dead Muhammad would like to call us and we are the Christians, the followers of the living Messiah. Anyone? May they, may they give us a call. You will have a reward from Allah. I mean, this guy is talking about what makes sense, what does not make sense. If you believe in Islam, Allah will give you at least 80,000 little boys, according to them, to serve you, not to have sex with them. And at least 72 versions. That makes sense. So, because one person worship Allah, I will make 80,000 little boys slaves for eternity. So the reward of you is the slavery of hundreds of thousands and millions and billions. If every Muslim, he will have at least 80,000 little boys. This is the heaven full of slaves. The free men there are the minority, very small, tiny minority. So when this man, he speak about what makes sense, like I like it when he is upset and he says, stop your nonsense. A Muhammadan is asking the Muhammadan to stop the nonsense. Since it is absolutely sinful to say that Allah, when I billah min hadha, Allah calls someone else to take the appearance of Nabi Isa alayhi and that innocent man, innocent because he never claimed to be the Messiah, he was crucified. Wait for judgment day with that nonsense. Nonsense. Wait for judgment day for that. Hey, Sheikh uh, Amran, did you forget? That if you say subhanallah wa bihamdihi 100 times, all your sin is gone. I mean, it's so easy, man. I'm going to go tomorrow to Las Vegas, do gambling, hire a prostitute, uh, 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 rob a bank, uh, whatever, you know. And then after I finish all of this, I will say 100 times, bismillah wa bihamdihi. And that makes sense. And then all your sin you did is washed as, even if it is, like the foam of the ocean. Mister makes sense. Do you see how Muhammad, he promotes sin and crimes? You do as you wish. At the end of the day, you say 100 times, just 100 times, not 1,000 times. And you have to say it in Arabic. Hmm? You have to say it in Arabic. This is why I did not translate. Praise be to Allah, and we thank Allah. 100 times, in Arabic. If you say it in Urdu, no.
That makes sense. Hmm? Who is a Muhammadan from the religion of sense is willing to call us? Mayday, mayday, how do you do? Muhammad, either he is going to be proud or ashamed of you. Just me, give me a call. And let us see who is going to be on the barbecue. Anyone. You know, the Messiah said, let the dead bury the dead. Maybe some people don't understand what does that mean. Those who follow the dead, they are interested in the dead. They are dead. But the one who followed the Messiah is alive. He will be always alive. Somebody texts me, most likely is going to be Fakira, but let us give, let us give uh, Fakira uh, Jarrar a try. Maybe it's not him, we will see. Who want to bet it's, it's Fakira? Anyone want to bet? He is not answering, or she is not answering. Uh, yeah, this guy, uh, uh, Dawa, uh, whatever his name, actually, I never heard of him before. He claimed that he called me many times and never answered. Look like everybody can call me except those who have channels. I mean, even, even Fakira can call me. But anyway, now he is arrested. He will spend... 16 to 18 years in jail for doing boom boom to his child which is very honorable behavior of a Muhammadan following the steps of the Prophet do we have any Muhammadan the first Muhammadan we tried to call him did not answer let us try again one more time Still no answer. All right. Well, I will give him a chance to text me again. Otherwise, I will block him. Do we have any Muhammadan? Listen, if you call me, you are going to win for real. Anything you see in the screen, you can find it easy by yourself. Very easy. Learn how to find things in Google. Just go and type a sentence. You, you, you find it interesting and you will find the rest in Google. If they were much as the foam of the sea, search that, you will find it in Google. Very easy. And this is the reference. Al-Bukhari 6405. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? No Muhammadan want to call us and convert us into Islam so we can fast Ramadan and eat more? I mean, this guy, he talk about nonsense when his Ramadan is eating more and sleeping a lot and doing nothing. And yet they claim that they are fasting and they are tired. They spend the whole day sleeping. If you go right now to Saudi Arabia, nobody working. You know, by 11 o'clock, everybody go home. Government employee, everybody go home. It's Ramadan. 
Ramadan, Ramadan. In the month of Ramadan, actually, most of the population who have money, they go over to other countries. So they don't fast. They go to Thailand because they are, they like ancient stuff in Thailand, like in the bars. You know, in Thailand, you have ancient things in the bars. Uh, lovely Lee saying, you know that Islam and Christianity are both equally silly and incoherent. Yeah. Well, Lovely Lee, are you a male, are you a woman or a man? Can you give me the answer, please? If you don't mind. Are you a male or a female? Because the picture I see in the screen, it doesn't sound like a female at all, even though you have a makeup. So the one is talking about incoherent. Can he give me a simple question, answer? What is a woman? The one who can judge, believe, and faith. Can you tell me what is a woman? So you're a bunch of dummy atheist. You don't even know what is a woman. And you are coming to us talking about incoherent and silly. True story. When you find who you are, let me know. So you can tell me then who I am. Potato. Do we have any Mohammedan? I mean, those people, they are weird, you know, Democrat, liberals, the most weird or awkward. Everything is upside down. The whole world is busy building. Uh, they want to go to the space, etc. And those people are busy about the bathroom. What is the sign we want to put in the bathroom? The Chinese, they are taking all over the world. And the Western are busy with the bathroom. They're, actually, the Western today is the same as the Muhammadan. Al Khomeini, may Allah bless his testicles, he said that the Muslim Sunni, they have a huge library of bathroom, which means most of the books is from the waist and down. As if the Shia are better. Do we have any Muhammadan? Be careful when you speak to me, I will give you a shower. You have to be ready. Christianity is incoherent. Why? Because it says, uh, love your enemy. That make us silly. Because we reach nobility, you will never reach. Because we say, you know, respect your parents. Protect your child. Be decent, be honest. Don't cheat, don't lie. Then what do you on the other side? You have sex around? You don't even know who is the father of your baby? You don't even know who is your who is your father? And you are talking about incoherent. Uh, a woman is... Uh, okay. So are you saying that... Uh, uh, a woman is someone it, it, let's just make it clear for me is a woman is a person by birth have a vagina you see I'm not too much educated like you I don't know about the XX and the XY the only degree I have or certificate is a license dri driving license so I want you to give me a clear answer is a woman is the one who is born with a vagina and womb. Yes or no? Is it going to take you forever to answer? 
XX, they associate with those who chromosome are XX. What associate mean? Give me the answer, buddy. What about you give me a call and I want to see how smart you are? I want to check your chromosome. Just be sure your chromosome is with you. It's going to be very embarrassing that you don't have a chromosome at all. You never know these days. Because they are getting chromosome from drugs. They take it, they change their gender. So if you like, I'm inviting you to talk to me. And don't worry, I will speak to you with no respect. And that will make you more excited. All right. He or she is not responding. Only Allah knows what is your gender. Do we have any Muhammad? And forget about this person. I hope you are not offended by calling you a person. I heard that those atheists these days, they get offended if you say a female, if you say a male. They get offended for everything, man. Do we have any Mohammedan? May they, may they. How do you do? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Nobody can answer. The Muhammadan they claim that Muhammad is superior for all mankind. Superior all over the over all the prophets. But the question is, can even Muhammad be a prophet? I mean, this guy, all his prophecies come to be false. All of them. I saw a video of Yasser Qadhi. He is counting how many prophecy Prophet Muhammad happened. It was one of them that uh, he said that the Prophet Muhammad, he predicted the conquering of Constantinia. Liar. He predicted that those in front of him, he took the, the army to take Constantinia and he failed. Muhammad, he says, avoid the Turkish as much as the as long they avoid you muhammad never predicted that turkish will be muslims in fact muhammad he claimed that the turkish are gog and magog do we have any muhammadan Gender is more to do with a natural pattern that than Gentiles. Ah, okay. So you are a male, but you don't have a penis. You know what? You remind me of a person. His wife, she got angry from him because he was a cheating. So she closed, she closed the door of the van on him. I mean, his penis. But he's still a male. Are you that person? You look familiar for me. I mean, look at those answers, man. Where are those people coming to me from? Gender is more to do with natural pattern than Gentiles? Ooh. So is it natural to have a male? He have a vagina? Mr. Natural. By the way, stay here. A lot of Muslims will text you and they will talk to you because, you know, they date uh, people like that. You will get somebody before you leave, I guarantee you. Muslims come here a lot. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Sorry, uh, gen genital, genital. Sorry, my English is not good. Excuse me. 
genital, not gentile. I, I, forgive me, please. My, you know, my English is English, not English. Yeah, genital, genital. I mean, my English has improved heavily since a while ago. I remember when I came first time to the chat uh, uh, in Paltalk, uh, this program, maybe many of you do not know it. The first time I enter a chat room, each time I go to the chat room, they curse me and they bounce me out of the chat. I have no idea why. I was just being friendly. I was saying, hello, guys. You know, hello, guys. And they start cursing me, calling me names. They bounce me out. I was saying to myself, what's wrong with those stupid American? I'm just saying, hello, guys. I said nothing yet. It turned to be, I was typing, hello, gays. So, <clears throat> Science disagree with me? Hey, my friend, I'm going to prove to you that science agree with me. Because these days, the one who controls science... Hello? Hey, we have a Muslim here. He can help us. Why do you lie after you hung up? You, 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 you lie to the people? Mm -hmm. you, you told them that I told you... We don't say in Islam a man can fuck woman. We don't say in Arabic. No, you said you you said a woman don't f a man. In Arabic, not in Islam. In Arabic language. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, okay. I see. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so, so are you are you calling me? Are you calling me to apologize that you're a prophet? You're a prophet. He said. If this man, if he did not, if this man, you, he was speaking to the women, the husband is not there. He said to her, if you don't, if this man, you cannot go back to your husband. Is that correct? No, he cannot say that because we don't have in Arabic a woman fucking man. You don't have it. So what do you say, Muhammad? And tell me. Hmm? Huh? What do you say? We say man uh, fuck woman, not woman fuck man. You know, I saw in the news, you are from Morocco. I saw in the news that there is an organization for men, right? And a huge part of Moroccan men, they get beaten by women in Morocco. So who is the one is if in who, Morocco boy? No, no, no. So you, you, you just went out of the topic. No, 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 no. You see, you, you, you are speaking about yourself that you are the man. We don't say that. But in reality, in Morocco, beat women like beating puppies. Let me show you the news. Here we go. Women, women, domestic violence in Morocco. Women beat men in Morocco. Human right report. If if they beat them, it doesn't have they have they, they fuck them. We nobody's in fact to have a sex. That means she can rape you too. She can force you to bed. She beat you. Don't change. That sounds thing. Another thing you lie to the people. Okay, you hold change. on. No, no, we are not changing topic. So is it a true? Is it a true? Is it a true that Moroccan is it is it a true? Is it a true what I am saying that Moroccan men are beaten by women? Yes or no? No, I, 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 didn't, I didn't read this news. Maybe they, they, there must be some cases. It's not. It's not the. No, they are making a major, a major human right. You know, you many. Topic. Huh? Why you want to change the topic? I okay, I'm know. not. So don't tell me we don't say men, women. You know, here we go. They, they do anything to you. They even beat you violently. So now. Let us go. So did your prophet, did your prophet, he say, and this is the Muslim translation, you should know if your intention to go back to your previous husband, you should know that you cannot go back to your husband until you have intercourse with the man. Okay. okay. Are you going to allow me to speak? Uh, yeah, like you see, when I talk, you say to me, I'm changing my topic. To speak because you don't, don't, you know, this woman, she got married in seriously. She get married, she get married what? Serious marriage. Not like in Egypt. You tell me in Egypt. That's that's what you call business marriage. You pay. Ah, ah okay. That's a business marriage. Well, okay. Let me, let me talk. This ah, okay. woman, she got married ah. seriously. Ah. And when, when she got married seriously, ah. you know, of course, she has a right to have a sex with her with her husband. If the prophet told her. Okay, what if she don't want? What if she don't okay. want? 
Okay. What do you mean if we're not? I'm asking you, what if she don't want? Let me finish. Let me finish my point. No, no, you can't think continue. Can continue, continue. I'm just I have I'm asking about some details you are saying. You are continue yeah. talking. I'm not stopping you. What if the women she don't want to have sex with this man? She married him, but she don't want to have sex with him. What is the solution? Go ahead. I mean, you can just have a divorce. Just let me, let me, this is not what your prophet said. The man, the man he did, the man he did beat her, and he made her skin greener than her clothing. And the reason she is refusing to go with him to bed, correct? Let me finish my point, okay? Let me uh -huh. finish my point. Go back to yours, uh -huh. okay? The, 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 uh, the practice that they do in Egypt, we don't have in Morocco. They have it in Egypt. Ah, the Egyptians are bad Muslims. You are a good Muslim. Ah, okay. Let me finish my point. Mm. Okay. That practice is condemned. You know what Muhammad say about that? Mm. You know what he, he said. What he said. Allah Allah curse the one who do something like that. And you tell me. It's, it's okay in Islam. Then another one, another hadith, he says. But the, but it's not forbidden. It's it's forbidden to, to, no, to get, it to says, get La Allah, it's not haram. Where, nowhere it says haram. Secondly, this hadith you are mentioning, there is no proof of it. In the top of that, in the top of that, why Muhammad did not say that to this woman? Here we go, this woman in front of you. Look what this happened here. Can you read for me? Can you read for me what is in the screen? Can you read for me? Can you read for me what is in the screen? Why he's gonna say that to her because her, her marriage was not for money. You remember, know? remember, you stupid idiot. When you call me, when you call me, when you call me, you call me to tell me that the word nikah, the word nikah, potato. You told me the word nikah does not mean the F word. This is what you call me for. You said I'm lying. Now you're a prophet saying you cannot get back to your wife, to your previous husband, unless this guy he F you. The verse in the Quran says until she do nikah to other husband not to marry because Mary already is a husband until she do nikah so this woman now is a great example she married a husband she have a husband but the husband yet did not do boom boom to her you said to me and everybody the the, the recording of you is still there you said well yeah he have to have intercourse with her in order for her to go back did you say that Yes, in the hadith, that's what the Prophet told her. No, no, the not the hadith, not the hadith. This is what the Quran is saying too. This is what the Quran is saying too. No, listen, listen, you are a potato. Muhammad here is explaining the Quran. In fact, this verse was given to the to this man. This verse, this 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 verse was explaining to the man what you should do. Muhammad was explaining the hadith, not the verse. Not okay, the okay, hold on, hold on. Can we go? Can we go? Hold on, hold on. Just everybody will see who is the stupid and who is the donkey here. Either you or me. Can we go right now, me and you, and read the interpretation for the verse? Okay, go. Okay. What interpretation would you like me to show you? Go for Tabari. Go for At Tabari. All right. I will go for At Tabari. Chapter 2, verse number 230. And as long as you are asking for Tabari, then we should have to go to the Arabic. Okay, Arabic. Chapter 2. You see my screen? Do you see my screen? Hello? Are you there? He is searching Google. Are you there? Huh? Are you there? Yeah. Okay. So this is a tabari in the front of us. Huh? It says here. Uh, do you see the screen? Okay, I get the tabari. It's right here. I have it. Okay. Actually, here is showing me different verse. Hold on, give me a second. Not the verse we want. Two thirty, not two thirty-two. All right, read for us at Tabari. 
هلو اوكي اوكي ريد الطبري اوكي يا هير يو ان الماركه اذا نكحت رجل نكاح التزويج لم يطاها لم يطاها وات ار يو اوكي وات يو ار ريدنج الطبري يو ار ريدنج الطبري وير يو ار ريدنج اه يو جو تو ذا بام اه اوكي Listen, listen, hold on, 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 hold on. Read can you can you read again? Can you read again? Can you read again? نكاح تزويج نكاح تزويج نكاح تزويج so what the word تزويج mean نكاح تزويج no no first first تزويج what تزويج mean ولم يطا ولم يطا listen listen نكاح تزويج what نكاح تزويج mean نكاح تزويج he got married with her تزويج is marriage so what نكاح is Are you stupid or what? Are, are you are you stupid or not? You know, nikah, the word tazwij means to get married. So what the word nikah mean now? It's also to get married. Nikah tazwij. What do you mean to get married? Nikah or tazwij, which means marriage to be effed, not not by name. No, 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 no. No, nikah. <laughs> Listen to me. No. Okay, 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 okay. I okay. mean, okay. he has to... اه You are saying to me nikah or tazwij. There's two words. If so, if nikah means tazawaj, means marriage, and then you are saying to me tazwij means marriage. So it is marriage, marriage. Is that what the word saying? Marriage, marriage twice. No, 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 no. So how tazwij, tazwij mean tazwij mean marriage, correct? Marriage. Okay. So nikah or tazwij? How nikah? If if the word tazwij mean marriage, how we put the word nikah before marriage? If the word nikah mean marriage, are we saying the word are we saying the word marriage twice? No, tazwij is you sign the contract. To, to you sign the contract. Contract of what? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, tazwij is you sign the contract. So nikah is not signing the contract. Tazwij is signing the contract. Let me finish. Let me finish. Tazwij, <laughs> you sign the contract. Uh huh. To have sex. Okay. Tazwij is sign contract. So what nikah? So what nikah? Tazwij plus plus what equal nikah? Okay. Nikah to have contract plus sex. Okay. So okay, hold on. So tazwij, this is step by step. Tazwij mean contract, correct? Contract. Okay. So now she have a contract. That means she is married, correct? She's married. Okay. What so what? Sex? So what nikah is? What? You forgot the oh, here we go. You just said to me what? So nikah mean what? You stupid. You just you, you just beat yourself. So tazwij mean the contract. Nikah is to f her. Nikah is to f her. This is why we see why we laugh at you. And that will make the tazwij accurate. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. You when you're a prophet, when you're a prophet, he told the women, you should know that you cannot go back to your previous husband until this husband have intercourse. In the verse, based on what you are saying, where in the verse it says, you cannot go back to your previous husband unless you do intercourse. Are you saying to me in the verse, nowhere it says that? It, it, because it says, 
حتى ينكحها يمين النكاح كونتراكت بلس سكس اها سو ناو نكاح مين سكس نوت اونلي كونتراكت You see, you are lying. No, no, let, 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 no, 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 no. Look, look, look how stupid you are. So now you say, here we go. So zaujan is the contract. Zaujan is the contract. Tanka is the sex. You got yourself busted. No, no, what? What? <laughs> no. Okay. Let me ask you. Are you saying to me now, based in the verse, the word water is not there, so the Quran never said a woman she should sleep with a man. Are you? Uh, what I'm just asking you. What is your IQ? Okay, I, I I don't know. I don't have an IQ like you. I mean, you are a person who believes in endless penis. You have an IQ. So listen, I'm asking you. Does the word the, does the word water does the word water, which means to f and the other meaning of f, does it does it is it exist in the verse which we in front of us? Okay, there is a word. I'm asking you. Don't change the topic. Is the word water, which means to f? Is exist in the verse? Is it exist in the verse? Yes, it exists. Where? Because, because you, have, you have the word yankah, which which equal. You, do you see why I hack? Do you see why I hang up on you, you donkey? Don't call me again, you stupid idiot. So I ask him, where is the word in the verse? It says if her. He says nikah. He just said that. I said, is the word water is in the verse? He said yes. I said where? He said tanka. <laughs> So all this drama for what? <laughs> and by the way, in Morocco, we don't say women if men. No, we don't do that. Only in Egypt they do that. Moroccan boy. Go and see what happened in Europe, my friend. What is the biggest business you do there? Uh, a very filthy false prophet. A woman, she cannot go back to her husband until the husband, and even the word wata'a, wata'a is to step on her. The word wata'a is to step on her, to jump on her. Savage, trashy, piece of garbage prophet. You could not find a word to describe a man having sex with his wife better than stepping on her. So we ask him, is the word what I is in the verse? He said, yes. I said, where? He said, Tanka. <laughs> Do you understand now why I hang up on you? You are just a certified donkey. And talking to you is just a waste of time. And the story is obvious. Muhammad said to her, you know what? You want to go back to your previous husband? It's not enough to marry this man. So she married already. He have to test your semen. And you have to taste his semen. Look how filthy the prophet is. He is saying to a woman, you have to taste his orgasm. And he have to taste your orgasm. And then after that, you can go back to your previous husband. So if your prophet condemned the one who does that, well, he is the one who came with it. Arab never have such a garbage before. What a stupid man. The man, he abused the women, and now we need to abuse the women more. So now we are forcing the women to sleep with the new husband, which she don't like, obviously. That's why he did beat her. She married him. She said, okay, I will marry him. I will not let him sleep with me. He will divorce me. I go back to my previous husband. Because the verse says, until she... Uh, you know, to do nikah to a uh, husband. But she forgot the word nikah there. It's mean to F the husband. So Muhammad explained to her that you cannot go back to your previous husband because you did not do nikah yet. You did not do intercourse. And you have to have his orgasm in your mouth. It's in the front of you. And the funny is, the Muslim they translate asilatahu or usailatahu as intercourse, when this word means nothing but orgasm. You have to experience that.
I mean, from all the stupid Abdul in the world, I got this Moroccan boy who do not know who is his God, who do not know this guy, what he do. Each time I ask him a question, he go to Google. He spent two days searching. You know, I assure you, he did read Qurtubi. That's why he chose the Qurtubi, you know. So he searched for two days and he came back to me. He thought he can fix it. But the second we start interrogate his stupidity, he come to the conclusion back to zero, saying, yes, the word nikah mean wata'a, which means to F her. Do we have any Muhammadan? Mayday, mayday. They, they know this is what the Muslims in Egypt they do that in Morocco we don't do that <laughs> why in Egypt they have different religion same time he said that the Prophet said may Allah curse the one who do marry women so they can go back to their husband but why you want to curse him for doing that he is fixing the marriage aren't you the one who came with it what about we say, may Allah curse the one who said, you cannot go back to your previous husband unless you F a new husband. Who is the one who came with this? Isn't it the stupid Muhammad? And actually, by saying, may Allah curse the one who make it lawful, you see, he said, look, just to show you how stupid this religion is. If it is wrong to do this, why he is saying the one who made it lawful? <laughs> it's lawful. He made it lawful. May Allah curse the one, read carefully, the man who made the women lawful for her first husband. He made her lawful. <laughs> Now, <laughs> he is speaking here about a man he did not F the women. Not a man he is not effing. Because she cannot be lawful unless he have sex with her. And you confirm that, you idiot. But how Allah, he curse him and now she became lawful. Either it's valid or invalid. Correct, guys? If you are doing something invalid, there is no way that is lawful. If the person is getting cursed, why he's getting cursed? For doing something lawful? If the action is corrupt, how the result can be lawful? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like buying, it's like buying uh, an equipment from a thief. And you know that this guy is a thief. And then you claim that this is lawful act. I bought it. No, you did not. You are buying from a thief. So if the action of the person who did that act is unlawful, then the, the result should be unlawful too. But look what the stupid Muhammad he said. He made it lawful. So it is accepted. Do you see it? Whom, the one whom she was made lawful, and the one who made that lawful. So how he can be doing a bad action, Yet he is making that action lawful, and Muhammad he accepted to be a good lawful action. Do you see why we read what they cannot read? They are illiterate like their prophet. If Muhammad really a prophet of God, he shall not accept such unlawful behavior. If this is what he meant, then this should not be valid marriage. And this woman, she is not lawful. But as you see, it's lawful now. Because she followed the rules. All what you need to do, you find a new husband, he F you. And actually, Muhammad, he confirmed that. 
how he just told the women, if this is your intention, guys, let us read carefully, just to show you how stupid Muhammad is and how stupid this religion is. What is required for this woman to go back? Muhammad saying to her, you have, if this is your intention, if this is your intention, so what your intention? Intention, intention is to go back to the husband, not to marry this guy. Muhammad he didn't say that you can't do that. Muhammad he said, okay, okay. If this is your intention, you should know that you cannot give back to your husband unless he do intercourse with you. So the intention is the same. Intention is not to marry this man. Are you with me, guys? Read carefully the story. A woman, she came to Aisha, the husband, he did beat her until he made her skin greener than her clothes. And Aisha, she said, Look, look, I have not seen any woman suffering as much as a believing woman. So Aisha, she witnessed that the most suffering women ever is Muslim women. But you will see some liars in YouTube or etc. Take talk wearing hijab speaking about how nice to be a Muslim woman. But Aisha, she is the wife of Muhammad and Muhammad agree. He did not say you are wrong. I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman, which means Aisha, she is comparing between Muslim women at that time and non-Muslim women at that time. Who is the one suffering most? Islam make women suffer more. Why? Because Muhammad, he gave a permission to the man to beat the women. Look, her skin is a greener than her clothes. The Muslim, they say to you, we beat them with toothbrush. Is that a ticklish beating? I mean, you see how they lie? The miswak is a long root of a tree. They beat the camel with it. That is the miswak. Search for the miswak tree and you will see what I'm talking about. It's not a toothbrush. The one they show it to you in a, in a one inch size and they put it in their mouth. It's a long, flexible root. They beat animals with it. So the woman, she is refusing to sleep with the man. And she made a false accusation, supposedly, that he is impotent. He cannot have sex. Hmm? Muhammad, he said, the, the husband, he came, he said to her, she's lying. I'm very strong. I can satisfy her. But she is disobedient and she wants to go back to Rifa. Oops. I mean, look how he's come back, this husband. He want to stay with the women. She don't like him. She like another man. Guys, are you, are you with me? What kind of a man he want to take a woman to the bed against her will and she like another man? If he have a little honor, he will divorce her right away. Little honor. But they have zero honor, like their prophet. He knew that the women she liked the other guy. And this is why she is refusing to sleep with him. Allah Messenger said to her, if this is your intention, which means to go back to Rafa, then know that this is unlawful for you to remarry Rafa unless Abdul Rahman he F you. Do you see your stupid nightmare, Moroccan boy? So she have unlawful intention. Muhammad he approved it. So how the muhallil is refused? This is what she want. She want to go back to her husband. Muhammad he agree. Okay, if this is your target, you have to F this guy first. Do you see why we say those Muhammad and when you try to defend Islam, they are stupid? Are you with me? Did Muhammad say, you know what, if this is your intention, based on your intention, you will never be able to marry this man. No, he confirmed the bad intention. He agreed with it, no problem. All what you need to do, if the new husband. This potato from Morocco, he was trying to deny it. But because he's a stupid, he confirmed it. May Allah curse the one who do make unlawful lawful. Well, this is what she is doing. She want to go back to the husband. And this is her intention. 
She married a new husband, but her intention is not to sleep with him. Her intention is to go back to the previous man. Muhammad, he don't mind. He said, oh, okay, whatever. This is your intention? Well, you better know that you have to have sex with this guy. Uh, lovely Lee, I have no time for you. You know, I have no time for idiots. Go put more makeup on your face and get lost. Stupid people. Do we have any real Muhammad and he have a little intelligence? As you see, your prophet, he approved the bad intention. He did not say to her, this is sin. He said to her, fine. Your intention is to do muhallal business. So you become lawful to your previous husband. All what you need to do now, open your legs to this guy. After that, you can go back to the previous husband. It's in the front of your eyes. <laughs> any Abdul Any Abdul, any brave Muhammadan, may they, may they. How do you do? Here your prophet is our barbecue. Any brave Muhammadan is not ashamed of his filthy prophet. Asking a woman, if you want to go back to your previous husband, you have to F the new husband. It's in the front of you. If you have any doubt, please keep it to yourself, CP. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have any doubt that your prophet is a false prophet, but I have a doubt that you are a believer. Otherwise, you should call me. The one who have a doubt, actually Muhammad, even the Quran says, if you have a doubt, Muhammad, about what revealed to thee, go and ask Christian Prince. The Quran says so. Actually, it mentioned my me personally. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He have a doubt about himself that he's a prophet. A clear sign that Muhammad is mentally ill. Allah said to Muhammad, according to Muhammad, if you, Muhammad, have a doubt concerning what we revealed into you, so who is the one have a doubt about the revelation? It's you. It's Muhammad. It's in the front of you. And what to make it even more stupid, Allah is telling Muhammad to go and ask the Christian and the Jews. Well, Muhammad, he went to the Christian and the Jews, and they laugh at him. So how Allah is asking Muhammad, who have a doubt about himself being a believer and being a prophet, asking him to go and ask the Christian and the Jews. I mean, are you stupid or what? Muhammad, he said, if only 10 Jews believe in me, the Jews will believe. Then he failed to make 10 Jews believers. Remember our title today is the living Messiah versus the dead Allah and the dead Muhammad. And the Muslims, they try to avoid our topic in any price. Because their God is dead. All of this in the Quran is written by Muhammad. There is no single proof that anyone else And actually the language itself, proving that the Quran cannot be made by someone even have little education. Let me give you an example of the stupidity of the Quran.
What is this? Any Muslim can tell me what is this? Allah flirting with the horses? What 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 is that? Who in the world want to make such a ch chapter? Any Muslim can tell me? What the horses have to do with the day of judgment? You can go and read the interpretation for this verse, you will die laughing. Islam encouraged knowledge. Sunat ibn Majah. Okay, my friend. Do you like to call me uh, and you read for me what Islam encouraged? Because either people will laugh at me or they will laugh at you. Is that fair, people? Islam encouraged knowledge. What is the knowledge in Islam? Uh, hail is coming from mountains in heaven. Ask not. And the verse, by the way, the hate you mentioned to me, you idiot, is even da'if. But now they will say da'if is accepted. Just to show you the hypocrisy. When they want, they accept da'if. When they want, they do poop on it. Oh, it's da'if. Now this one, help their target. But we need to know what is the elm in Islam. Elm in Islam is to say we believe in what Muhammad said. That is elm. I can get you busted in two seconds. Here we go. We go to the stupid Quran. Abdul, remember, I have all your laundry here in my head. Muslims have no knowledge. The knowledgeable in Islam is the one who say we believe but we don't understand. And this is your stupid Quran in front of you. Chapter 3, verse number 7. Read with me carefully. Allah, he gave the Muhammadan verses which they are clear and verses which are not clear. And then he says, and seeking for it is hiding meaning but none knows its hiding meaning save Allah. And those who are firmly grounded in knowledge, they say we believe in it, which means without knowing the meaning. <laughs> so do you see what firm knowledge in Islam mean? Firm knowledge to be a scholar is to say Allah knows best. It's in the front of you. He just said nobody knows what they mean. But those who have firm knowledge, they say we believe in it. So they have believed in something they have no knowledge of. Yet the Quran calling them grounded in knowledge, firmly grounded. Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? Mayday, mayday. Anyone? Firmly knowledge in Islam is someone he say Allah knows best and that's it. What firmly knowledge? You copy what you even if you have somebody you call him a scholar. What make him a scholar? He copy what Muhammad said. He just repeated that is scholar. If I ask a Muhammadan right now, where the sun set? Who is a scholar who have firmly knowledge can answer me the question? Where the sun set? Let me make it more simple where the sun goes.
Anyone? Jesus was not crucified. Well, my friend, you have to prove it. Even your sheikhs, as you see, they are agreeing that Jesus was crucified and he died in the cross. Don't you know about Sheikh uh, 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 Omran? Very big Sheikh. He keep, he said to the Muhammad, and stop your nonsense. You are a bunch of stupid. I have to speak to you in a harsh language. Let me warn you. And my language is sometimes very harsh. This is the only language they understand. You speak to them nicely, they think you are weak. You speak to them friendly, they think you are a coward. You spank them, they salute you. Go ahead. Because that's the only language some people can understand. No, not some people, all the Muhammadan. This is the only language they understand. Don't come with this nonsense. Because it is not only pathetic nonsense, it is absolutely sinful. To say that Allah, when billah min hadha, Allah calls someone else to take the appearance of Nabi Isa alayhi salam. And that innocent man, innocent because he never claimed to be the Messiah, he was crucified. Wait for judgment day with that. Nonsense. Pathetic nonsense. It's not there in the Quran, it's in your imagination. It's your imagination, you stupid. Did you hear it? Is this as a Christian guy? Huh? Christianity came to the whole world in the strength of the sword, while Islam, the religion of peace. <laughs> I think you, you know, your mom, she is giving you detergent in, instead of uh, milk when you were a baby. Guys, Christianity spread by the sword. Jesus never had an army. Never. Jesus himself was killed. All his disciples were killed. So how Christianity spread by the sword, you stupid liar? The first time the Christian they have an army to fight back the Islamic army. The invader. Isn't it this is your prophet, he said? I mean, look, look, look at the hypocrisy and the lies of those Muhammadan. Is it your prophet? He says, I was victorious by terror. Is that your prophet? I was victorious by terror. No, 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 they are not ignorant. They knew their lies. They knew they, you know, Islam is based on lies. You know, when somebody say Islam without lies dies, it's true. You should promote that you know, language everywhere. Islam without lies dies. So look, this is a religion. Their prophet is the first terrorist. And he himself, he said that people were terrified from him from the distance of a one month journey. I mean, do you see how peaceful he is? From a month journey, a month. Do we have any Muhammadan? Do we have any Muhammadan have the courage and the knowledge? The first Christian army was a during Constantine. Yeah, but that will not change anything. He's a king anyway. He have an army before he become a Christian. So what he would do? He's a king. He's a king. He become a Christian. But all of us, we knew that for the first 300 years, the Christian, they used to be fed by the same army to the beast. So Christianity got strong to the point that the king and the queen converted to Christianity when the Christian have zero soldiers, they can't even afford to buy le you know, leather so they can write the Bible on it. They used to use cheap papers.
Do we have any Muhammadan? CP, please play, uh, pray a prayer for all Muslims. Muslims do not need your prayer. I believe such a behavior from a Christian sometimes is weird. You don't pray for people who curse Jesus every day. I don't pray for them. I try to save them, not by prayer. Some Christian they think that the prayer, the Bible speak about the prayer, prayer, how powerful it is, but the Bible says that the prayer without work, faith without work, is a dead faith. So your prayer, you wait for God to make the Muslim see. So why Jesus sent this I will go and teach? They do not need your prayer. They need your action. Stop wasting your time, Christians, giving hugs to people. Stand for the truth. Fight for it. Take action. People who pray too much, they do nothing, they are fake. I pray God will feed you. Are you homeless? Okay, okay, I'm a Christian now. I'm going to pray to Jesus to feed you. No, you feed him. You show them the truth. And then you pray that the seed you planted will grow. But first you have to plant the seeds. We don't want more people repeating the prayer like the Muslims. The Lord, he said, don't repeat your prayer like the hypocrite. You know, what is the heck is that? Do you think God is deaf? Go do something. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Mayday, mayday. Where are you? Jesus was a man, not God. So why you worship Jesus? Well, my friend, this is a good question. So why your stupid Quran says we should worship Jesus? Do you dare to call me and I will show you from the Quran that we should worship Jesus? Is that fair, guys? And the funny is that Muhammad and they say to us, Jesus is a man. Okay, what happened to every man? Die. What is Jesus? He's alive. He's just a man. <laughs> okay, but is it is it your God, your stupid God? He said, "Inna kamayyat wa inna humayyitun." You are dead, and they are dead. So why Jesus is alive? Can you tell me, potato? Every human be being is dead. You ask a Muhammad and Abdul, where is Jesus? He say in heaven. But the Quran said, you are dead, Muhammad, and they are dead. Hey, Muslims, all of you are a bunch of dead people. This is why I said Allah is dead, Muhammad is dead, and you are dead. Prove me wrong. Muhammad, he never heard the thought of Allah. He never heard the voice of Allah. He never spoke to Allah. So what is the proof for Muhammad that he have Allah? Nothing. Muhammad is dead. His God is dead. Jesus is alive, even in their book. And the reference in the front of you. So why we worship Jesus? That's a good reason to worship Jesus. He's the living God. You have a dead God. Never, never exist, actually. You have a dead man, you follow. You are following a dead man, you stupid. 
reason to believe in Jesus. Well, he's the creator. The Quran says he created from the mother bird. The Muslim, they say Allah gave him permission. That is a stupid answer. Because if Allah gave me permission, that cannot make me creator. There's a huge difference between giving me a permission to drive your car. But that will not change the fact that I can drive the car. So if Jesus was given permission to be creator, well, now he is a creator. That means there's two creators, at least. Even the stupid Quran says, Allah is the best of the creators. So the Muhammadan, they claim that Allah is not a man. This is why we worship him. In fact, Allah is a man, according to Muhammad. In Muhammad, he says, don't beat Adam in his face, for Allah created him in his image. And he is copying actually the Old Testament where the Old Testament says that Allah, sorry, that God, he created Adam in his image. So Muhammad, he switched the, the name, uh, the word uh, uh, Elohim. He make it Allah. He changed it. Allah, he created Adam in his image. So if Allah is not a man, why Muhammad saying don't beat Adam in his face for he have the look of Allah? In fact, this statement is so stupid because if you cannot beat the face of Adam because he looked like Adam, well, what about we beat the ass of you because your ass looked like the ass of Adam too? Does it make a difference? So we can't beat your face, but we can beat your ass? <laughs> stupid religion. They could not explain what he meant. What do you mean? God created Adam in his image. He stole that from the Jews. He put it in his religion. And now they try to give it a different meaning. What the meaning? Oh, Allah is saying, Allah Prophet saying, don't beat the man in his face because his face looked like the face of Adam. As if Adam only looked like us by face. His hand is not like us. His legs is not like us. So if it is the similarity between us and him, then we should not beat any part of the body because all of us, we look like him. Aren't we children of Adam? Or maybe Adam was from different alien creatures. He have only the face of a human being. Don't change the topic for me. Can you explain the Trinity? I struggle with it. You struggle because you are a struggling brain who have a low IQ. First of all, can you explain God to me? Can you explain to me how God, he can create light by saying be light and light was? Can I explain that to you? You say no. How come you don't struggle with it? Can you explain to me how Jesus put some mud on the eyes of a person who is blind and he make him see? No. How come you don't struggle with it? Can you explain to me how the Quran says that Jesus, he made some mud in the shape of a bird and he breathed into it and he make it a flying bird? Do you struggle with it? You say no. So the one who can do all those things, the stupid you, is trying to figure out how he can be three and one. I mean, obviously, he's all capable of anything. That's why we call him Almighty God. Almighty is not a word to describe a color or an ethnic. You're ignorant. Almighty, that means he is all might. Nothing is impossible for him. So it's impossible for you to be here and in China in the same time. It's not impossible for God. It's impossible for you to be two, three, four, five, and one in the same time. But it's not impossible for God, for He is Almighty. So, my friend, the struggle because you decide to become dumb, stupid, and you don't want to use the brain who you claim you have it. If you are using your brain, you want to struggle, struggle with it. The 
The second we say God, then we say nothing is impossible with God. If God is a three and one, then he's a three and one. What about we ask you the God you want to become, uh, maybe you don't like him three, maybe you like four. Maybe you like him not to be three and one, one. Let us design God for you. You know, the Hindus, they have 35 million gods. But I'm not opposing the Hinduism because of that number. No, because if they are, there is 35 million God, then there is 35 million God. What I can do about it? Is that a number you like? A number you don't like? This is a very stupid thinking. I reject those gods because there is no proof of them and they teach something stupid. As simple as that. But if they can prove themselves to me that there is really 35 million gods, then I will believe in them. It's not the number what make them real or not. The Muslims believe in one God, but those who worship Satan, they believe in one God too. How many of you heard that Satan is being worshipped in many locations in the world? If you heard that before, give me one, please. Literally, Satan worshipped. If you heard that, if you have some knowledge of it, give me one. It's true. Well, Satan is one. So when Muhammad, he come to us and he say, we believe in monotheism, he think he have a privilege. That is a stupid statement. Satan is one, Iblis. He is the king of his kingdom. There is no competition. Allah is the king of his kingdom. But there is a competition. Allah himself, he claim that he is the best of the creators. Satan will not say such a stupid statement. He will not say, I am the best of the creators. And if you read the Quran, you will find that Allah and Shaitan is one person. How we can prove that? Before we go to the Quran, read this. Who is the one who command Muhammad? Allah or Shaitan? Muslims, help me. Who is the one who command Muhammad? What the Muslim will say? They will say Allah. False. It's half answer. Yes, Allah command Muhammad, but that is shaitan. Muhammad here, he claim and he admit that he have a shaitan and the shaitan is his companion. And the shaitan, this devil, he command me, but for good. Do you see it? Who is commanding Muhammad? The devil. Who said that? Muhammad. Have you ever heard of a good devil? Have you ever heard, ever, of a good devil? Muhammad, he claimed that he received his revelation, a good revelation, from the good devil. 
In fact, one of the relatives of Muhammad, when Muhammad he st stopped receiving Quran, she said to him, did your shaitan forsake you, Muhammad? Do you see it? Has your Satan left you, Muhammad? Right away, Allah, he sent the verse agreeing that he is Satan. <laughs> I mean, can, do you see the stupidity? The woman, she said to him, has your Satan left you, Muhammad? What is the response? Allah sent him a verse saying, your Lord never forsake you. We agree he is Satan. Am I making that up? It's in the front of you, and this is very authentic, Al-Bukhari. Imagine you say to me, Christian Prince, did your Satan forsake you? You are not receiving a revelation. I say, hold on, hold on. He just gave me a revelation. You just confirm that Satan is your Lord. Who is the God of Muhammad? Satan. Any Muhammad and may they may they. <clears throat> Actually, Satan is a Muslim. Yeah, Satan is a believer. He is a very good believer. If you go in the Quran, you will see Shaitan, he worship Allah. Shaitan is not against Allah. Nowhere in the Quran it says that Shaitan is against Allah. Shaitan he worked for Allah. Even Shaitan in the Quran he called Allah Rabbi. Rabb. Shaitan he worship Allah. Chapter 5, verse number 39. Iblis, he said, Oh my Lord. <laughs> Do you see it? Shaitan is a Muslim and he do worship Allah. And not only that, Shaitan is a good person in Islam. Allah is the Shaitan. Look what happened. Who is the one who misled Shaitan? Allah. The Muslim, they say here, translation says, you put me in the bath of error. That's false. It says, awaitani. You change the translator. Let us see different idiot. You send me astray. Shaitan did not go astray. Allah, he sent him astray. Do you see it? Shaitan, he worship Allah. And not only that, Shaitan and Allah, they have an agreement to send people astray. That is totally one billion percent the opposite of Christ's teaching. What Jesus said about helping people to see the truth. He said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. He's not coming to send you astray. He's coming to heal you. He's coming to resurrect you. He's going to make you see. That is the Messiah. Allah want to make you blind. In fact, the Quran confirmed that the one who make people blind is Allah. I'm not talking about the blind, you don't have eyes to see with it, no. 
blind, so you don't see, you don't hear, you don't understand. The Muslims, they curse you for not believing in Allah. But they should curse Allah. Chapter 2, verse 07, it says, Allah has set seal on their heart and their hearing. And their eyes. So they cannot see. They cannot hear. I mean, the translation is so stupid, by the way. This guy, uh, I mean, always Muslim translation is very funny. I'm sick of changing translation. Who is the one who blocked your heart from believing in Allah? I mean, have you ever heard of a God? He blocked your heart from believing in Him and then He will punish you for not believing. Uh, Zaid is a smart Muslim. Obviously, he watched Ahmad D. Dad. Hey, Zaid, I have an offer for you. Why you don't call me and ask me the question live on air? And we will see either people will laugh at me or laugh at you. What do you think, Zaid? I will not ask you about anything else. You tell me what you just said. Do you dare? Zaid, do you dare? The stupid Muhammadan, they copy what the dad he said. He said, your God, he struggled with Jacob. You stupid Muhammadan, do you know what the word Israel mean? If you know what Israel mean, you will not make fun of the story. So if this has never happened, so how your stupid God, he changed the name of Jacob to Israel, which means the one who wrestled with God, Huh? Stupid like your prophet. If this has never happened, and this is funny, and this is not true. So how your stupid God, he got the name Israel from where? This is what Israel mean. So the stupid Mohammedans, they copy this from place to place. He will go, um, I assure you this guy, for many years he go from place to place making fun of the Christian and the Christian they try to explain to him, like my friend, no, this, look, hold on. No, it's your stupid God getting you busted, you donkey. Your God did not explain to you how in the word Jacob become Israel. Can you explain to us? Go right now to the Hebrew dictionary and see what Israel mean. And then you will see that you Muslims, every one of you believe in the story, but you are a donkey like your prophet. And I have a lot of carrot for you. I put it in the front of your head, you will never bite it. Just to keep you walking. Are you there, Zaid? Or you want to play dead now? Hmm? He will play dead. His tail is not moving. He is in the coma now. He don't dare to make fun of Israel no more. And what make it more funny, by the way, that the stupid Muhammad, he never mentioned to the Muhammad, and how in the world suddenly there's a guy, his name is Israel. Who is this guy, Israel? I mean, shouldn't you tell them, you stupid, that Israel is Jacob? Nowhere in the Quran says, who is this guy? Children of Israel. Israel. Okay, who is Israel? This is Jacob. But how Jacob become Israel? <laughs> you know, there's Muhammadan. They go to play a fight, a fighting match in the Christian channels. The second they stop here, they will leave with their lips is red, blue, their nose is bleeding, they never come back here, now, this is not a good day, I used to say this to everybody and people laugh, but today is not working, they got me busted. Who's next? <clears throat> I will tell you this story. <coughs> I mentioned it before. 
there's a there's a Christian chat room, and a Muslim he go there. It's very rude, very filthy, very trashy. And those Christians are very nice, you know, very kind people. The kind, you know, like we pray for you. So this guy, he come to the microphone. <clears throat> uh, he says, you Christians are the sons of the devil. Uh, the prophet of Allah, he said that the one who don't say the prayer before intercourse, shaitan, he share his mother with the husband. My throat is hurting. So the admin, he sent me a private message, says, can you please take the microphone? I said, I don't, I don't want to talk, you know. He said, just come on, you are the only one who can get, we don't know what to say to him. He, each time he come, he say the same thing. So I took the microphone and I told him, hey, Abdul, are you sure this hadith is sahih? He said, yes, it's sahih. I asked him again, are you sure? He said, what's wrong with you? I told you it's sahih. I said, are you sure? 100% Sahih. He said, what's wrong with you? I told you now three times, it's Sahih. I swear by Allah, it's Sahih. So I said, as long you agreed that the one who don't say the prayer before he have intercourse with his wife, the son will be the son of the devil. That means your prophet Muhammad, he is the son of the devil. For he was not, his father was not a Muslim. He never heard of this prayer before. Therefore, when he had boom, boom with the mother of Muhammad, he never prayed the prayer. So Muhammad is the son of shaitan. We gave him the mic back. He was a crime. May Allah curse you, Christian prince. May Allah destroy you. May Allah... <laughs> what the heck, you know? It's you. I ask you three times. Are you sure that this is will happen if you don't pray before intercourse? And you made fun of me and you said, say yes, I told you three times. Are you stupid or what? It turned to me, Muhammad is a donkey. He told the Muhammadan, if you don't say this prayer, shaitan, he if your wife with you and your son will be the son of shaitan. The stupid Muhammad, he forgot that his father never mentioned this prayer. He is not a Muslim and he have nothing to do with Islam. Therefore, Muhammad himself is the son of the devil and he effed his mother. I mean, shaitan. I mean, this is the stupidity. But Muhammadan, they are used to speak to an average low IQ people who have no intelligence, they are naive, and they are maybe some atheist or even Christian by names. But the second they come here, we fry them like potatoes. Who they are? Who of you dare? And notice that our friend uh, Zayed, he is not even moving no more. I guess I guess his wife now she is uh, 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 making a ruqiyah for him. Uh, my friend, next time Zayed, better before you come here, don't forget to shake your penis three times. Don't shake it forth, because. It might come out. And don't forget to take the medicine of your prophet, Kamal Urin, because your intelligence is beyond stupidity. Uh, Sabataku, you were a Christian once? Absolutely, you were a Christian. I heard that you used to be the Pope. And your mother, she was a nun. You know, it was a Christian before. Do you want to show you your prophet wife? Who she left Islam and she accepted the Christianity and she married a Christian man? She ran from your prophet? The wife of Muhammad, she ran from him. Who? The wife of Muhammad. You know, once in a, in a Muslim chat room, uh, I know Muslims are crazy people, as usual. Kamar Yurin, you know, Nagla Seed, just say anything to them. So I went to their chat room and I said in the chat, Brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah. Today, the third wife of the Pope and his mother-in-law who died last year, they converted to Islam. 
and I posted first time and then second time. And the admin, he said, the admin is the one who's speaking the microphone in control of the chat room. Huge chat room. I have like a thousand people here. He said, brother, 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 stop, 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 stop the text. Stop the text. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Look, look what the brother said here. The third wife of the Pope and his mother-in-law who died last year just converted to Islam today. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And the Muslim room is boiling, man. Invite everybody. Brother, come here to the mic and tell us what happened. Brother and sisters, Allahu Akbar, the third wife of the Pope and his mother-in-law who died last year. And this guy is so excited. Everybody in the chat room is so excited. And then one of them, after like five minutes praising me for such a news, one of them, he's a smart. He took the microphone. He said, hold on. Obviously, he's making fun of you. The Pope don't get married. And he said his mother-in-law, which he don't have, obviously, because you don't get married, died last year, convert to Islam today. Just tell them anything, convert to Islam. They will go crazy. Mental. Brain is zero. IQ is zero. Knowledge is zero. God is zero. Prophet is zero. Even their prophet, his penis is zero. He asked Allah to send him a dish of kebab because he was the most weak person between all mankind. In boom boom. Zero. Who want to convert to Islam unless you are a pervert? Mental. Sex seeker. Penis worshipper. Have you ever heard of a God he promised you endless penis? Isn't it your God afraid that your penis will go in him? As long as it's endless. Infinity penis. Infinity penis can go everywhere. Isn't it your God afraid that a billion Muslims who have endless penis, they might hit him in the eye maybe? Endless penis. I mean, what about me? Make it like 500 kilometers. I mean, it's more acceptable. But endless. So your wife is next to you and your penis in the other galaxy. And you are talking about intelligence and logic and God and worshiping penis religion. Penis be upon him. If you don't like our language, you can leave. Here we don't sugarcoat things. Here we say it as it is. No mercy. You are sensitive. You have makeup. Take a hike. Oh, your language is a blunt. Okay. Yeah, very blunt. Cement. No sugar coating. We smash, we fry. And then we say to you goodbye. Like it, like it, don't like it, leave it. As it is. You want to hear sugar coating things? Go watch Joe Biden. You know the thing. I'm not Joe Biden. Actually, his real name is Joe Bite Me. Do we have any Mohammedan here? Mayday, Mayday. How do you do? Where is your prophet? The dead doo doo. You have a dead doo doo. We have the living Messiah. You have a dead doo doo. Where is your doo doo? He's dead. So you follow who? Prophet Muhammad. Where is he? He is dead. Do you follow Allah? Yes, Allah is alive. Where? Your prophet never spoke to him. He never heard his fault. Can you make a debate offer? My friend, I made a debate offer for him five, six years ago. Search it. This guy is a coward. Potato. This guy do not even know how to say his prophet name correctly. 
He is busy promoting my book in German to the German. <laughs> All of them, they speak about me in my back. But nobody dare to say hello. Any Mohammedan? Any Mohammedan here is proud about his religion, is willing to join us. Listen to me, this is your opportunity to get an extra reward from the so-called Allah. One of the interesting offer of Allah. That you will have in the heaven of Allah. A bazaar. You see, Silicon Valley claim that they are the one who come with the internet. Playboy station, they claim that they are the one who started the porn industry. No. The virtual play porn started by Prophet Muhammad and his God. Read with me carefully. The Messenger of Allah, he said, in paradise, there is a market in which nothing bought or sold except images of men and women. Images of what? Men and women. If a man like an image, he enter it, which means he do boom, boom with it. So homosexuality in the heaven of Allah. If the man, he like an image, and those fool people, they say to you, this is a religion of God. Allah is the only God who have sex market images. You like the image of a man and you are the man. You go inside it and if it. You must be the man. Sleeping with other men. In the heaven of Allah. Is that the magazine of Allah? Any Muhammadan? You know, Muhammad is like a Joe Biden. He keep giving it stupid stuff. This guy never shut up. You see, Erdogan, he established a conference in, uh, in uh, uh, Ankara uh, many years ago. And then uh, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia tried to do the same. To do what? To filter the hadith. To filter. Remember, those hadith we have after all the filtration for 1400 years. And now, because it's so embarrassing, they are trying to filter more and more and more. So, after they filter those hadith, the book hadith will have what? The page and the cover. Sahih al-Bukhari will become a, a book, says, the Prophet said, and that's it. We stop here. They want to filter the stupidity of what their Prophet said. I thought images is haram in Islam, forbidden. It turned to be Allah, he print images too. And not only that, he make business from it. Oh, Muslims, I have a question. It says there's no buying nor selling. Who is the one is selling? Any Muhammadan can help us? Who is the one he is doing the business in this market? It says buying or selling except, which means there is buying and there is selling. So who is the one in charge of the stores? Is that Mimi Hijab? With his pink t-shirt? Because I believe he fit perfectly for this job. This guy, each time he start a video by this, uh, whatever, I mean, this guy, he cannot for a second stop selling stuff. 
نقل سيد نقل سيد is for every problem in life what do you want more ها نقل سيد And yesterday, Mimi Hijab, he was wearing pink. Speaking about the punishment of Allah for those who insulted the Quran. The guy who burned the Quran 29 years ago, he died yesterday. He was a very young man at the age of 90. Allah punished him. I think Mimi Hijab is a perfect person to be in the charge of the magazine porn bazaar. He always wear pink. The microphone in front of him was so long and thin. Any Mohammedan? Not to mention his additional skills like stripper, uh, you know. <laughs> anyway, as you see, we came here to challenge the Muhammadan about their God, and nobody dare really to talk about their God because their God is dead. Islam is silly, Islam is, Islam is so stupid, Islam is very laughable, and it doesn't take more than a few minutes to notice that Islam is really mental. Islam fit only with mental ones. Did you remove your last uh, life? Yeah, I told you guys, download it if I, you want. I, I, I always uh, remove my videos. I, how many times I say, download my video if you are interested to watch it because I don't keep them in my channel. Yeah. Why oh, you complain? Anyway, <laughs> I think we had enough for today. And I wish you all happy Easter. And the funny is, I said in the beginning, Christians can call and zero Christian call me. Hmm. When we say Christian don't call, Christian want to call me. Ahem, ahem. Didn't I say in the beginning, Christians can call? Not a single Christian called me today. I said to myself, today is an Easter. Let me give them a chance to call me and say whatever they want. But no Christian did call me. Tomorrow we go live, God is willing, if we can. Then Christians want to call me and they want to talk to me. And they start texting me. We want to talk to you, CP. So I say, thank you all for being here. I pray to the Lord that this Easter and every Easter to come will be a day not only of a good memory of what the Lord he did to us, but is a memory will stay with us to remember that he is coming back. No grave can hold him. No death can take him. No evil can stop him. That is the Messiah. The dead Muhammad is dead. Even your Muslim hadith say he stink. The Muslim did not bury Muhammad for three days because Muhammad, he claimed that his body will not decay. After three days in the heat of Medina, he stink. Even the hadith says, Qad Rabba Batnahu, which means his belly full of fart. He started farting the dead Muhammad. The gas was coming like Qatar gas supply. He was trying to replace the true Messiah. He changed his name to be the praised one. But all of us, we knew that the praised one is God. And anyone he used such a name, 
He is not a monotheist. He don't believe in one God, for he replaced God by calling himself the praised one. There is only one to praise, that is God. We praise God for having you. I don't praise you for having God. Islam is a paganism. And Muhammad is a pagan man. And if Muhammad or a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how foolish are you? If a foolish man like Muhammad can fool you, how fool, how foolish are you? If someone his religion is about penises and vagina can fool you, what do you have in your brain? We have a guy, his name is Muhammadans Khan. He is saying you are a liar. My friend, I was going to leave, but I can stay if you case you want to call me and prove to me that I'm a liar. Would you? Hey, people, do you think Muhammadans Khan dare to call me and prove to you live on air that I am a liar? I'm willing to stay another two hours just for the sake of Muhammadans. Are you willing to call me? Mr. Muhammadans? I'm giving you opportunity in front of everybody to get me busted. I was leaving, but now I'm going to stay for you. So what do you think? I have a question to refute the Trinity. Okay, do you like to call me? Do you like to call me? Guys, all Muslim, they ignore everything we said about their stupid prophet and they run to speak about the Trinity. <laughs> I have a question to refute the Trinity. Since Mary is the mother of God, does that does that make Mary mother of the grand mother of God? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with you. Since the Quran is the mother of the book, is that mean that when Allah He said the Quran? His grandmother, she gave birth to the Quran. Are you with me? Isn't it your stupid Quran says that the Quran is Ummul Kitab? Do books have mothers? So Mary, she is the mother of Jesus. And because Jesus is God, okay, you can say she is the mother of God who is Jesus. But God have no mother, you donkey. Jesus said, before Abraham I am, which means before the grandfather of all the Jews, the Messiah was. Do you see how easy to refute you? Silly argument from a silly Abdul. Now how you can refute to me that your book have a mother? Huh? Is that your Quran or I'm making things up. Do you dare to call me? He just refuted the Trinity people. He just destroyed it. You forgot your stupid edict that Mary is not part of the Trinity. Oh, I forgot in the stupid Islam. Mary, she is part of the Trinity. <laughs> Which is a proven that Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God. He don't even know a simple belief of the Trinity of the Christians. What Mary have to do with the Trinity, you donkey? But I'm not surprised. You are a donkey who follows a donkey. His name is Muhammad. Who he claimed that we Christians 
believe that Mary is God. And how Allah, he proved that God, Mary, and God, Jesus are not God. He said they eat food. <laughs> Look at the translation. He says, they are the substance of the book. That it doesn't what this is not what it says. It says Ummul Kitab, the mother of the books. Potato, the foundation of the book. Look, look at the translation. <laughs> so Khan, do you dare to call me my friend? You are you are a man. You can make it. Don't worry. I mean, what are you worried about? Honestly, do you think really you will lose? I mean, I can say you will not call me only if you think I will, you will lose. But there is no way someone like you will lose. So I don't understand really why you don't want to call me and get me busted. Do you like to call me? Khan. Show respect to my name. My name is Muhammadans Khan. You shall respect Islam. Debate Uthman Farooq. You see, I'm going to debate Uthman Farooq using you because Uthman Farooq is the best of you. This is your Uthman Farooq. He said the following, that Muhammad is not Abrahamic. You ask for it, it's not me. Guys, did he mention the name of Uthman Farooq? Or it's me who mentioned his name? How many times we hear the Muhammadan saying that Muhammad is Abrahamic and he was following Abraham. And not only that, he is from the children of Ismail. It turned to be that Christian prince is saying the truth. Muhammad is not Abrahamic. He never even heard of Abraham. He never even heard of Gabriel. Who said that? Sheikh Uthman. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. <laughs> Did you hear it? He never heard of a Gabriel. Muhammad, he is 40 something years old. He never heard once in his life. Who is Gabriel? He is not Abrahamic. He is not coming from Abrahamic faith. This is not my words. Muhammad is pagan, son of a pagan. His mother is a pagan. His tribe are pagan. You Muslims are pagan. So you try to attach Muhammad to Abraham. You fail. Here we go. Your friend is getting you all busted. You mention his name, get his poopoo. His poopoo right now in your face. Why you don't call me? Call me and explain to me why your Sheikh Uthman, the ketchup boy who don't dare to call me, and he don't dare to let me call him, saying that Muhammad is not Abrahamic. Hmm? You can call me and explain it Use any ketchup you want. Is that fair, people? Is it me who said that Muhammad is coming from a pagan family? His tribe are pagan. He never heard of Gabriel. Never, ever, ever. So 40 years of his life, never heard of the angel of God. He is not Abrahamic, which means he was always pagan. Call me. This is your friend, the one you call his name. I did not say anything. Do you want me to play it for you again? It's for fun? Huh? You no, From now on, you will stop mentioning his name, don't you? But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Honest mention. <laughs> what? Say it again, uh, uh, catch up boy. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is. He does not know what Gabriel is. Have you ever heard of a single believer in God? He doesn't know what who is Gabriel. 
even a even a Jewish child, even a Christian child. Muhammad is more than 40 years old now. He didn't know who is Gabriel. So what was his religion? He is not coming from the Abrahamic faith. Remember, he said that, not me. Is right because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. He did not come from the Abrahamic faith. So he come from what faith? Buddhist? Hindu? Hmm? This is your ketchup boy. This is why you don't dare to call me. I mean, even you Muslim make fun of him. Go watch the video made by Muslims about 100 error in the Quran. They did not record all his error. They recorded only 100. He cannot even read his book. This is your sheikh. Who he claimed he have a master degree in hadith. How this guy he have a master degree and he claimed that he is a sheikh yet he cannot read the Quran. Do we have any Abdul? Respect Islam. Yeah, I don't respect Islam. What you can do about it? Can you tell me what you want to do about it? We make fun of your prophet every day. Respect Islam. You shall respect Islam. No, we will not. Are you stupid or what? My books is all over. My video is all over. In every platform. Your prophet is my joke. What you can do about it? Potato. You claim to be a man, you are not. You don't even dare to call me. I will only call you if you apologize for insulting my name and religion. But you know that this will never happen. So you are telling me, don't call me. I don't dare to call you. My friend, I'm going to apologize. When I said your prophet is a stupid, I don't mean so. He's mental. Are you going to call me now? I just apologize. Guys, didn't I apologize? I'm sorry. I said your prophet is a stupid. I apologize. He's mental. Call me now. I just fixed it. Don't tell me you aren't happy now. I mean, you won. You forced me to apologize. Christian Prince himself apologized. What do you want more? He is not stupid. He's mental. Hmm? Are you there? Pagan people, black stone kisser. I mean, even the stone of your prophet in the shape of a vagina. And why the why this vagina was there? The Arab they used to worship the god of fertility, Allah, Baal. They have a black stone in the shape of a vagina. And even their interpretation book says that the Arab, when they have the women and the men, when the women she don't, she is not able to have a baby, she go to the black stone, she touch her private part, she walk around the Kaaba naked. Men and women, they walk around the Kaaba naked. What was the religion around the Kaaba? Require nakedness. So Muhammad, we heard the Ketchup boy saying, Muhammad for 40 years and more, he was practicing what is not Abrahamic. He used to go around the Kaaba naked. The mother of Muhammad, she used to go around the Kaaba without bikini in the nude beach of the Mecca. Do you see it? Is that my fabrication now? Does it say 
that the Arab they used to go in the nude beach, which is the Kaaba? In your Islamic books, it says that Muslim women, when they cannot have babies, they go and they touch their vagina when they have their period, and then they place their hand inside the black stone, praying to Allah to have babies. And that what made the black stone black. The black stone was white, like milk. But the sin of mankind made it black. What sin we are talking about? The sin of the vagina. Those women, they are not able to have baby because Allah is not happy with them. Prove me wrong. I can show you everything I said from your books. A Shia, he want to debate? No problem, Shia, he can call. Text me. I don't see anyone text me. I see someone Christian want to talk to me. Huh? Any Mohammedan? I mean, Shia, they can win the debate easy. Those people, they believe if you wear a black shoe, your penis will not work. I mean, come on, you cannot debate a Shia guy. I wear black shoes. How I can debate someone who wear yellow shoes? You will never win. The Shia is the smartest religion between the Muslims. Even they have watermelon who they are Shia and watermelon who they are Sunni. If the watermelon is, is, is a sweet, that is Shia watermelon. Have you ever heard of religion that watermelon convert to Islam? That is Shiaism. According to the Shia, every Muslim Sunni, when he is born, Shaitan, he place his finger in his anus and he make him a gay. Prove me wrong. Smart, genius. So based on this, every Muslim Sunni, like Mimi Hijab, is a gay. Why? Because Shaitan, he put his finger in his anus when he's baby. I asked the Sheikh, hey Sheikh, well, <clears throat> so what if a Muslim Sunni, who Shaitan put his finger in his anus when he's born, later he became Shia? <laughs> He refused to answer. <laughs> okay, you know, uh, it's time for me to go. Uh, but there is one of you, actually, it takes, it takes me. I will take his call. And uh, maybe next time we go. I said from the beginning, Christians can call, nobody call. What they can do, you know? Let us see. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Go ahead. Hey, I'm a Christian. I just wanted to say Happy Easter. Uh, he's risen. I mean, our Savior, our Messiah, our God, Jesus Christ. He conquered death and sin today. And uh, I wanted to just cover every Christian that's listening. I love you, my brothers and sisters. I want to say thank you, Christian Prince, for edifying all of us. Um, I know you don't feel the effects of it, but I'm evangelizing every single day, helping Muslims. I have loved ones that are Muslims, and seeing them turn to Christ has been such a blessing in my life. So thank you for the work you're doing. God's going to reward you for that. And Muslims, if you're listening, we love you. We want you to turn to Christ. So seek the truth. I mean, and the truth will set, will set you free. Amen, brother. All right. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, brother. Uh, thank you. Happy Bye. Easter. Bye-bye. Happy Easter. All right. <clears throat> well, you know, this is what uh, the purpose of what we do. Uh, the major purpose that nobody can fool you first as a listener. And then you go on, you educate your family. You start with your family. Educate them. So your children, your wife. Your husband, 
nobody can fool them with this garbage religion. And then you go and you spread what you learn, reference, evidence, knowledge. We are very grateful for the Lord that He gave us the ability and the opportunity to be able in such an era to speak to people around the world. Not long time ago, that is impossible. It's going to be impossible for me to share my knowledge around the world if we don't have the internet. So the same internet can be used for all kind of faith, crimes. It can be used for the good of God. And this is actually giving us an example that there's nothing is bad except the bad we do. It's not steel which is bad because steel can build houses and steel can use to be defending your house but steel can be to use as a tool of a crimes. The same thing. You choose to be with the good God or the evil devil. It's what you do with things what make them bad or good. It's not the things themselves. And that will goes for you. The Lord, he says, from their fruits, you shall know them. All of us, we are sinners. And the one who claim he have no sin is a fraud. The one who claim he is holy is a fraud. The one who claim he is the best of us is a fraud. The Bible says that the best, the most clean, is like a dirty rag in the eyes of God. So what makes us better? And the answer will be found in the teaching of Christ. Christ did not come to this earth to make himself a king. He did not need kingdoms. He did not need soldiers. He did not need gold and silver. Servants. He washed the feet of his disciples. The Messiah, he says, my kingdom is not in this earth. My kingdom is above. So the Messiah, he came to this earth. He can level us up. He don't want us to go down. We are already down. We are down with our desire. We are down with our faith. We are down with our sin. We struggle with it. We fight against it. Sometimes we act in a hypocrite way. We want something, we do the opposite. We say we want to be good, but we do bad. The Lord, He knew how we are. But for He is the good God. Still He opened His door for us. He said, knock at my door, I will open for you. And he told you, Muslims, that I am the life. And the Muhammadan, they say to you, where Jesus in the Bible says, I'm God. Hypocrites. Liars. He never said he's God. I am the life. I am the truth. I am the resurrection. And those are three names of Jesus. The liar Muhammad, he took them and he gave them to Allah. If you ask a Muslim, who is the truth? They say Allah. Who is the life? They say Allah. Who is the resurrector? They say Allah. But those are the words of Jesus about himself. So those hypocrite liars, they try their best to replace Jesus with the fraud. His name is Muhammad. And Jesus always gives us victory. over their false prophet. We never lose, and we will never lose. May the Lord bless you all, and until I see you soon again, this is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. God bless you. Take care.